Shakari Richardson is on a roll. I don't think there's a better word to describe her. To prove that, the American world champion took the 100-meter win in Zurich just 10 days after winning the world title in Budapest. This season, Shakari is proving to the world that she deserves to be a world champion and that she's ready to take on the competition from other legendary sprinters from all over the world, the Jamaicans especially. In fact, Shakari Richardson wrapped up the 2023 World Championships nicely. Pretty nicely, I would say, given that she went home with not one, not two, but three medals from the event. I will definitely say it's the start, from the beginning of my journey, as me and my coaches discussed. I'm honored, I'm blessed, had great competition, and I'm just excited to see what the future holds for me. In Budapest, Richardson won three medals, gold in the 100 in a championship record of 10.65 seconds, bronze in the 200 in a personal best of 21.92 seconds, and gold in the 4x100 where she ran a remarkably relaxed anchor leg. Richardson sounded confident and happy, even before winning her first global medal, and told NBC Sports' Lewis Johnson after her opening round 100 run, The world, I'm not worried about the world anymore. I've seen the world be my friend. I've seen the world turn on me. Richardson basically rewrote the championship's record books in the women's 100-meter final to take the crown in 10.65 seconds for her first-ever international title, before adding 200-meter bronze and 4x100-meter gold. Dreams like this come true. I'm just glad that I was able to be here for my first world championship and to do the things I've been working on all season. Richardson shared after the women's relays where they brought yet another win to Team USA. Well, that's that for the Worlds. As for the Diamond League, Shakari hasn't been slacking off either. As a matter of fact, Shakari Richardson basically left her rivals in the dust at the 2023 Doha Diamond League. Shakari streaked to 100-meter victory in the first Diamond League meeting of the season in Doha, setting a meet record with a time of 10.76 seconds. The wind is legal. I said watch out for her. What's truly remarkable about that win was that Shakari beat Jamaica's world 200-meter champion Sharika Jackson with 10.85 seconds, while Britain Dinah Asher Smith was third at 10.98 seconds. 10.76, and Tori Bowie's meeting record has gone to the teammate Shakari Richardson. In light of this, this particular win made her the world's fastest woman at the time. In a post after the race, Shikari said, I'm so blessed and thankful. I feel at peace. All I do is the best I do, and I'm excited to do it. Like I said before, I had to be kicked out from another 100-meter race, so I had to do my best no matter what. Peace, love, and life. Then, in her next Diamond League race, Shikari once again owned the track. Shikari ran exceptionally well at the Diamond League meet in Silesia, Poland. There, she clocked 10.76 seconds, overtaking Sharika Jackson by two hundredths. Sharika Jackson in the middle, trying to stretch away from Richardson. Richardson digging deep. Richardson coming good in the closing stages. And that is a big win from Shakari Richardson. There, home favorite Yua Swoboda made her customary fast start, while Jackson eased past her at the halfway stage to set herself up for the win. However, Shakari kept her form and finished off her race strongly going in front just meters from the line to triumph in 10.76. Richardson, who at the time was still unbeaten in the 100 meter during the season, said afterward, It was an amazing race. I am really having fun. The 10.76? I love the time. I put a great race together. This was a great competition. It was amazing. I executed correctly. That she did. I love the atmosphere here. I wish we could replicate this in the U.S., all the energy, all the love from the audience. I was satisfied with my race altogether. She added to say, That said, I know it wouldn't be surprising at all when I say that she once again shone at the recently concluded Zurich Diamond League 2023. There, Shikari Richardson continued her winning form on the track with another 100-meter win. Although she was not the fastest out of the blocks, 
Richardson settled into her stride and took the lead through the middle of the race, reaching the line in 10.88 seconds, easily clear of her nearest rivals. Upon seeing she had won the race, a wide smile broke out on her face. Richardson gets a pretty good start. Terry gets an excellent start. So does Zoe Hobbs as well over in lane two. A Richardson starting to come through, though. The world champion's going to take this. It's going to be Shakari Richardson right over on the far side. I am feeling really good being able to finish this season as fast as I can, Shakari said after her race. I am definitely grateful, and I am excited with the way this season is going. Honestly, just knowing that my training has gotten me here, physically training, mentally training, emotionally training myself, to understand what it takes to finish an entire season and beyond the World Championships. It was the 11th time in 13 races this year that Richardson has run 10.90 seconds or faster, continuing her phenomenal bounce-back season. Behind Richardson, Jamaica's Natasha Morrison narrowly edged out teammate Elaine Tomsehera in a photo finish, with both women clocking 11.00 seconds. Thompson Hara said afterwards, The fact that I did not make it to the World Championships in an individual race was hard. I wanted to stop the season, but my husband changed my mindset. I'm a warrior, this is not about crying, so achieving a season best today is great. Notably, Thompson Hara, one of the most decorated sprinters of the past decade with 11 World and Olympic medals, has been struggling with injuries for several months and ran in only the opening round of the 4x100 relay in Budapest. Not the final, nor either of her usual individual events. Still, her 11.00 time Thursday was a season best. Needless to say, Shakari Richardson has now defeated the legendary Jamaican trio, Sharika Jackson and Shelly Ann Fraser-Price in Budapest, and Elaine thompson Hera in Zurich. That's not something to sneeze at, as you well know. Unsurprisingly, Vogue had labeled Shikari Richardson as the Flojo of our time. What's more, Florence Griffith Joyner's husband, Al Joyner, agrees. In fact, he shared that Richardson and Elaine thompson Hera remind him of his late wife. Flojo's feats in her relatively short career are still giving a hard time to every sprinter in the world. Loads of extremely fast women have burned through their careers like shooting stars just to break her record. However, her records stand strong, like an indomitable iron fortress. In fact, it has been standing strong for three decades and a half now. But the husband of the fastest woman ever believes that his late wife's dominance will soon come to an end. In fact, he said that he believed Shakari Richardson or Elaine thompson Hera would be the ones to emerge on the top. When I see Richardson and Elaine Thompson, they remind me of my late wife. They're going to get close to the record because they're seeing it as attainable," Al Joyner said in a 2021 NBC16 interview. Notably, Joyner is one of the biggest supporters of the New Age athletes, irrespective of their nationality. Al Joyner also noted, I remember she once told me, I never want anybody to be like me, I want them to make bigger footsteps than me. For now, whether or not Shikari Richardson will indeed be the one to break Flojo's long-standing record remains to be seen. Time would also tell if Jackson, thompson Hera, or Fraser-Price will get that honor instead. And speaking of record-breaking races, watch this to see how Noah Lyles does just that.